Hi, welcome to the 3D Pen Den. Christmas is coming, so let's deck the halls with 3D Pen. And subscribe, there are more Christmas projects coming your way. Besides your pen and filament, you will need 3D Made Mat template which I separated into segments so I can use uh, them on my small turntable and turntable is something you can easily make yourself and the link to that video is above and in the description and if you stick around to the end of this video I will give you some helpful technique tips and also alternatives how to make this without the mat and the turntable if you don't have those yet Mark your wire at about the same height as the radius of your circle, or a little less. And make a little tape flag. The tape will make it possible for the filament to stick to the wire. And then you can remove it once it starts getting in the way. Once you made two of these, you can connect them either as an A-point star or offset the two halves to make a 16-point star, which is what I'm planning to do here. All done and now for the promised tips and alternatives if you are actually planning to try this you might have a few questions like what is this tool this is a tool dental technicians used for wax carving if you can't find one use something similar that has a slight curve to it like a wood burning leaf tip placed into some kind of handle or something similar 
If you need to start or land on a single strand of plastic, it is a lot easier if you support that point with some kind of landing pad. Here is a bit of the process in real time so you get the idea. Here I am actually landing and at the same time connecting two crossing strands of plastic, which would be really challenging without any support. Sometimes you can also land on your finger, but make sure you protect your fingers with finger guards. Another tool you may find helpful is a wood burning tool, ideally with an adjustable heat control equipped with a leaf tip. This helps with burning off all the unwanted hair-like strands of plastic hanging from your project. Some people use a real flame to do this step, but with a delicate project you may burn something you were planning to keep. So this gives you way better control. I actually do this after every stage. Also, backlighting your strands help you actually find them easier. I use flashlight or a small clip-on light for this. The best way is to actually do this in front of a sunlit window, but if you are working at night, this will help. Now, if you don't have a 3D mate mat or a turntable, the process may not be as quick and easy, but you can still make this with a stiff piece of wire and a piece of styrofoam. All you need are two concentric circles divided into eight equal sections. Make sure your wire goes into the styrofoam at the right angle. If you use treated plexiglass to cover your patterns, you can do so. Otherwise, work just straight on the paper. And from here, you already know what to do. Have fun and stay tuned for more Christmas projects!